So the question is, can we lift the diesel up? All right, here we go. Winch up. Ooh, oh, 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 there it goes. So question is, how amphibious is the amphibious craft? Does it actually float? Oh boy, let's get dramatic here. Here we go, and oh buddy. All right, let's go and crank her up. Lifeboat is cranked up. Let's unlock the drop switch. We're gonna have to say goodbye to the ship here. Here we go, drop. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks, and yes, folks, we're back once again, and we are ready to have some fun. Like, I love this game. This is like one of my favorite games of the new year. I guess technically it came out this year, even though we had access last year, but still, this is one of my favorite games. I love to check out awesome creations. I love to go on the missions, so we're going to be doing kind of a mixture of everything here today. I've got quite a few creations. Not 100% sure what I'm all going to pull out here today. I guess it depends on how long we spend on certain creations. But if you want to download anything that you see in this episode, it's going to be linked down in the description. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Maybe hit that notification bell because we all know how kind of weird YouTube's notifications have been the past couple of weeks. So, if you want to be informed on the Komodo videos, go ahead and hit that. And if you have any suggestions for Stormworks, comment below. But let's jump right into this. All right, whoa, this thing just moves as soon as I spawn it. So yeah, the first creation we're gonna check out here is just simply called a huge cargo ship. Now don't let this fool you. There are so many features to this. I believe we've got, a, of course, a helicopter over here, which does that actually work? I think it does. Uh, you've got that, you've got a lifeboat. Actually, I think the lifeboat's here in the back which you can actually launch all of these vehicles from this craft. And I believe, is that a diving cage? Can we get in that and lower ourselves in the water? That would be cool. Uh, so yeah, we've got all that. Uh, this one actually has a ramp. This is like the most useful thing I think I've ever seen on a boat. A lot of times you have to hop in the water and go up a ladder to get up on the boat, but that is a ramp. Uh, is this for the, yeah, the walkway? Tilt or rotate? Rotate. Oh, I guess, oh, that makes sense. You can probably move this over to the side. This is one thing I still don't like about Stormworks. I don't like these control, these things right here. Because they don't feel like they're very responsive half the time. There we go. All right, so that's set in there. Of course, you got our helicopter here, which does have a pilot seat. Hold on, open it up. There we go. Does that fly? Yeah, I would assume so. All right, so we've got that. Uh, this is like a rescue boat, I believe, here. Which looks like you lower it in the water there. There's a magnet winch in and out, so you can winch it back up. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and travel in and see what we got going on here. Uh, looks uh, pretty empty through here. Let's go ahead and go up to the main deck. Uh, hold on, there's a little door here. What's this? Ah, this might be the captain's quarters, I'm assuming. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go up here. I, wait, oh, here it is. I thought I missed it. I was like, how did I miss the main deck? Is this a, uh, there's a lifeboat. Question is, how do you drop the lifeboat? Can you drop it while you're in there? I don't know. We're going to have to test this out. So, we're going to simulate a, a ship going down. Uh, I'm going to turn up the weather, and we'll see if we can launch, like, the lifeboats and everything, and see kind of what happens. All right, firing up the engines. Got six of them here. There we go. It's a good day to go out and, I don't know, do some cargo boat things. Uh, what is this over here? Is this engine wings? Or wing engines? What's... Does this thing fly or something? What does that even mean? Uh, do I need to fire these up? Oh, let's fire those up, whatever they are. I don't know. Alright, there are so many buttons on this thing. Oh, this has got an autopilot on it too, sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on some lightage here. Not too many. A lot of times the lights uh, make the game lag a bit. Nothing. Auto speed. The heli connector. Okay, so we got that. Trim. So I'm assuming we can make this thing go without having to actually pilot it. Autopilot's on. Left, right. Auto speed. Okay, let's increase the speed here. Hold on. Let's left engine. Uh, do, is the parking brake on? Hold on, trim, uh, speed. Oh, that's the hell. Oh, look at the helipad. 
Oh, it actually raises that up and down. That's cool. All right. Ooh, okay, there's auto speed. There we go. Uh-oh, I think we're turning a bit, huh? Make sure those are both up full speed there. Oh. Okay, we're moving. We don't have anything ahead of us, do we? No, we look good. All right, we are moving somehow, but let's see. It looks like we're going... Okay, we need to go to the left a little bit. Is this, is this not working? Uh... It says work in progress. That might not mean, it maybe means this isn't all the way up yet. Let's turn those on. Oh, those are bright. All right, let's go, there we go. Leave the navigation exteriors on. There we go. All right, let's walk out on deck here. Just kind of observe. Sweet, we are moving. Everything looks good to go here. Uh, totally nothing bad is gonna happen today. All right, here we go. Time to kick it up to 20 here. Okay, here come the uh, the waves. Here comes the storm. Sweet. All right, we're doing pretty good here. So we got our helicopter. We can launch that. Is this a diving cage? Is that what this is? Oh, it is. Hold on. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. This is pretty rough. Okay, folks. Let's uh. Let's go ahead. Rotate this diving cage out. Oh, that looks dangerous. Uh, let's open the doors. Yeah, I don't think we can do the diving cage without an extra set of hands here. Because, uh, who's going to, like, close the doors and actually, uh, you know, get me back in if I lower this in the water? Okay, let's go and winch out. And, uh, there it goes, so it's lower in the cage. That's a cool feature. We might have to play with the ship in multiplayer in order to be able to use that. Oh, no, we're heading towards an island. Hold on. Oh no, we gotta stop this. Alright, we are turning away from the island out there, so we have uh, gotten away from the possible tragedy there. <laughs> okay, so uh, pretty rough seas right now. Uh, I really wish there was like a way just to sink the boats. Well, let's turn these wing engines off. I'm not sure if these aren't kind of turning us and oh! Whoa, this is, uh, this is pretty rough, folks. Alright. Hmm, let's say we have an engine failure. What happens if we shut a couple of these off? Oh. Alright, so we're just gonna get bounced around here. There we go. Somebody needs to make a ship that you can open up like the compartments and... Oh, it got really, really dark out here. Yeah, somebody needs a ship that you can open up like the bottom compartments and actually flood it. That would be awesome. Alright, so we have an emergency... Oh, yep, water's getting aboard now. Got a little bit of an emergency here, so we're going to need to abandon ship. This is a mighty cargo ship. Do we actually want to take this one? Actually, we'll let some of the crew off over here. So let's go ahead and put this out. Come on. Tilt. Work. Work, dang you. There we go. All right. Got to kill some dead weight. Let some crew off real quick. Let's go ahead and winch out. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is so cool. All right. And boop. So, does that actually turn into another vehicle on the map, or is it still... No, it's still considered one. Alright, let's go ahead and go uh, get aboard the lifeboat and try to release it. I'm going to actually try to be aboard that when it releases. I think that could be cool. It's always good to test out all the uh, the safety measures here in the game. Alright, we got our lifeboat ready to go here. We are abandoning ship. Let's go ahead hop aboard. Oh, it's got a drop button on it. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, that is a tilt there. I would be so frightened to do this. Like, I would... No way. I'd probably just jump off the boat. Or, you know, maybe I'd just stay on the boat. All right, let's go and crank her up. Lifeboat is cranked up. Let's unlock the drop switch. We're going to have to say goodbye to the ship here. Here we go. Drop. Ooh. Oh, we're underwater. Ooh. Oh, no. We just did a flip on the other one. Oh. What's the point of a lifeboat? A lifeboat if you get dropped and you're upside down. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, we're safe. Wow. That is cool. That's a cool ship. That's like a, a basically a do-everything ship. I think the only thing it's missing is a, an actual tow hook. It's got a connector in the front. Uh, but yeah, that is a very, very cool ship. Oh, this, uh, this lifeboat's got some power. Hold on, let's go and pick up some speed here. Get away from the ship. And let's turn into a wave. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Whee! 
So, folks, we just had a simulated emergency abandoned ship. Oh, boy. Ooh! <laughs> I don't think I trust this lifeboat too much. But anyways, I think it's time to move on to the next creation. All right, so for our next vehicle here, we're actually going to play with an actual, like, vehicle vehicle. Not a ship, not a plane. Uh, this is an amphibious. It's based off of the BMP. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. This is like a troop transport. Uh, ooh, oh, boy. Yeah, if I was looking at this right, if I'm not mistaken, this thing has legit tracks on it. Now, the tracks aren't hooked up. And I was reading the instructions, and oh yeah, I think you have to actually lift these tracks up and then hop up and boom, that one connected. Wow, this is going to be cool if this works. It's like be like legit tracks here. Oh, let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Find the connection point. Oh, found that one. All right, so those are hooked up. Uh, let's see. Let's go and hook up the back tracks. Okay. And then this one. Boom. So, yeah, legit tracks here in Stormworks. Let's go ahead and check the rest of this out. This is where the, the troops sit. Okay. Uh, there's actually a ladder on the side here. I do apologize about the frame rate. It's uh, just, I believe it's the tracks that are causing it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, when you get Scrap Mechanic and you get the tracks there. Uh, here's a hatch. Okay, that leads. What is this? Manual fire. Okay, so this is the turret guy. The commander, I'm assuming, is right here. Or the gunner. Oh! It's got like a little... Oh, and let's sit in here. Oh, whoa! Oh, you can see like the... Uh, I'm assuming it's the driver and the other gunner. So we got fire, gun down, gun right. Uh, are these hot key to anything or no? Okay, so you actually have to manually click these, so... <laughs> I kind of want to see that from the outside. I know what's happening here. Uh, let's just stand up and do this. So yeah, when you click that, it's actually like the guns moving back and forth and a little lights lighting up. That's pretty cool. Alright, now the question is, it says amphibious. So in theory, we're going to be able to drive right off that beach over there and go into the water. Like that's what's really got me excited about this. So let's go ahead. Engines, engage screws. What's... What screws? That's not the connectors, is it? Hold on. Engage. Okay. Or, or maybe that was the engine. Okay. So we're good to go there. Now this one, its control method is a little weird, admittedly. Uh, you can go up here and actually control the left and right throttle. I haven't found it. Uh oh No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I, I hate this throttle lever. There we go. Let's go ahead and go up. Let's try to keep these even. Now we should be moving. There we go. Okay, so we're moving now. Uh, it's weird because you, I don't think he's got these actually mapped to a certain uh, control. So you have to actually go inside and look at them. Uh, can we really see out the top? Eh, the window is a little, a little blocked. Let's go and increase that one. I need to turn towards that beach. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's light it up here. See how fast this thing... Oh, no, 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 there you go. Go that way. Uh, see how fast this thing goes on these tracks. That's actually working really well. And look at the tracks. That's cool. And it's really not that bad once you get moving lag-wise. Uh, we need to turn here, so let's put that up there. Oh, that is so awesome. We got a tank. Or a, a BMP. I wouldn't say it's a tank. Uh, troop transport. All right. Let's down that throttle a bit. Uh, a bit more. We need to head straight here. Alright, here we go. To the beaches. Let's go ahead and go a little up on this one. There we go. We're in the sand. And we are about to enter the water. So, question is, how amphibious is the amphibious craft? Does it actually float? Oh, boy. Let's get dramatic here. Here we go. And... Oh, buddy. Oh! <gasps> Check that out! Wait. Did a secondary motor just crank up? It actually sounds like it's got... Oh, look at the propellers! Were those going before? Dude! Wait, can I turn it normal now? Uh... No, yes. No, I don't think I can. Uh, let's throttle... Oh, we probably need to close this hatch. Uh, on. I can probably stand up on this, can't I? <laughs> okay, we can close the back hatch. There we go. Troops are good. 
Let's close this hatch. Get in there. Boop. Does that drain the water? No, it doesn't. All right. Yeah, it moves. That's still sweet. Like, that is an awesome creation. Uh, let's go full throttle here and let's, uh, let's get moving. Oh, yeah. And look at the tracks. The tracks are still hanging on uh, with that connection. That's genius. I really like that. He says it was actually difficult to connect the tracks, but really it, it isn't. You just gotta grab the handle and just kind of jump up with it, and then you're good to go. All right, here we go. We are about to get back on land. All right, let's see what happens. Question is, can this climb that hill too? I mean, it's tracks. I'm kind of curious as to how how grippy are they. And here we come out of the water. Ooh, they might not be grippy enough. Um, oh, this might be a bad spot. On oh, throttle that side up. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's going to be a little tricky to get these out. I think you need a, a pretty not steep ramp because the tracks, while they work, I don't think they have the gripping power that a lot of tracks have. And weight-wise. Oh, yeah. That's still, nonetheless, very cool craft haul. Let's go ahead and open the hatch up here. Stand up. There we go. Nope. So cool, you can just stand up on the craft, go to the, uh, the back side. Does this have hatches here? Can I click? There we go. Oh, the troops, <laughs> the troops uh, have been swimming a little bit back here, but nonetheless, I think they're okay. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, time to play with some more vehicles here. We have a crane, and check this thing out. I'm actually kind of digging the vehicles here in Stormworks. This is something we never really checked out too much of. Now, this crane itself, this is a beast. Like, where in the world do you find a crane like this? Hold on, let's go ahead and spawn it. Whoop, is it going to be laggy? Laggy crane? Oh, my. That is a monster. That is probably one of the biggest cranes I've ever seen. Oh, look, it's even got the, uh, uh, what are these called? It's little arms that come out and they'll stabilize it. It's got a name. And of course, I can't think of it right now. I've used them before in other games, like the Firefighter game and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Cylinder, there's a tower controls, work light, indicator lights. Okay, hazard lights, front lights. Uh, brakes? Free. Uh, which one of these actually cranks it? Oh, the driver's over here. What's the point of the pilot? Okay, let's go ahead. There we go. All right, we're, oh no, we're gonna hit the crane. Uh, all right, dunk. <laughs> you ever see the videos of the, uh oh, oh, the crane stuck. Oh, there it goes. Well, we extended a part of the crane. Yeah, have you ever seen the videos of the idiots driving down the highway and they have their crane up or they'll have like their dump truck arm up and they'll hit one of those signs? Oh, that's frightening. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead. This is a uh, well. We don't have much land here in Stormworks. This is going to be as good of a spot as ever for the crane. So let's go ahead. Probably need to engage the brakes. We'll keep the throttle. Uh, we'll keep all that on. It's actually not throttled up. Let's go ahead and go uh, hazard lights. Oh, those are bright. All right. Uh, ooh, something's got to be spinning up there. Oh, let's take a look. All right, so those are spinning. Can we get these cylinders? Will they come down or we need to do this all from the cockpit? Let's see, crane control, pilot seat. Let's go, indicator lights, work lights are on. All right, primary out. I don't know what any of this means. Tower up and down, I've got that. There's the arms and the free. I'm not sure what that is. Now this thing does have a lot of power behind it. Like you can lift uh, vehicles, so we'll probably get one of those out here in a second. Where was the cylinder button? All right, let's keep lowering those until we feel the crane kind of hit. Uh, is that working? Oh, oh, there they are. Okay, so the support cylinders are down. The crane is actually suspended in air. All right, so we should be good to go to start lifting here. I don't know what the best way to do this is. Uh, does this thing have this all mapped out? Oh, it does have it all mapped out. Check that out on the uh, the left side. Sweet, that's gonna make this a whole lot easier to use. So A and D moves the crane left and right. W and S is up and down. That's the top arm there. Ooh, we need to be a little bit softer with that. So up and down is the top extension. So that's that, the winch up, magnet. Uh, we need to lower, actually we need to raise the tower. So that's six. Uh, 
Okay, no? That'd be six on the number pad? I need to get this tower up somehow. Hold on. Alright, so a lot of the other controls are actually on the inside here. So we gotta start hitting the stand-up arms here. And this should be raising the crane up. Here we go. Oh, it's all unfolding. Okay. Are we good? Oh, that's all clamped. Okay. There's a free arm here. What does this do? I read the instructions. I just, I'm not sure I quite fully, fully grasped everything. So, primary out, support cylinder, tower up. Here we go. All right, so we're going to start hitting this button. Which this should have been... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, Komodo. What did we just do? Hold on. Tower, tower down, tower up. There we go. Ooh, that's really aggressive. <laughs> really aggressive. All right, we got it. We got it up now. Okay, so the crane is up. So now this is where we'll be able to kind of rotate. And okay, so we can rotate it now freely. Dude, that is insane. Like, seriously. How do you come up with stuff like this? That is crazy. Okay, we can extend that out. Now, I would like the crane to go down a little bit. So, if I hit... Ooh, I'm not a crane operator. I'm just watching this thing shift. Okay, so I can uh, now dump that arm down. Okay, there goes that. Alright, so that arm is dumped down. Alright, so that part of the crane is good to go. Alright, so there's a winch. Let's go ahead and put winch down. So we'll go one. Uh, uh oh, there's a winch stuck. Come on, winch. Go down. Winch down. Okay, winch up. No, it's opposite. Two is actually making the winch go down. Alright, so winch is down. So we are ready to connect into something heavy. So yeah, the crane's all set up now. The counterweight is actually, there's another one right there. And then you got the bottom weight. At first, I thought the whole arm just went outward, but no, it actually sets up like that. That is so neat looking. All right, we need to find something to hook up here because I want to see what kind of lifting power this thing has. All right, so I saw in the picture, they had a picture of it actually lifting up this diesel truck. So let's go ahead and climb up into here. Uh, low beam, high beam. Oh, these are actually beams, warning lights. Hey, this is a pretty nifty little diesel. Let's go ahead and crank it up real quick. Turn off the parking brake. Uh, this one you can actually connect into, uh, there's some, uh, like, shipping container missions. They actually, uh, this one comes built with, uh, another trailer that you can actually put the, uh, the containers in. Why have I not shut that door? Um, is there a button? Easy button to shut the door with? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Alright, where is the connection point here? Is it, oh, there it is. You got one there. Is there any on the front, like a tow point? There's one right there. How do we, connectors, boom... Okay, that turned the back one on. That's probably going to work. So let's go ahead. I'm getting a... Is that our hazards? No. One of these is going to turn off that annoying signal. High beam signal. No. Maybe it's a, actually trying to tell me that my door is open. That's very possible. All right, let's move this. Uh, oh, we're going to hit the thing a little bit. There we go. Oh, It's pretty close. It's swaying a bit, so... I think that's gonna be good. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here, and let's go ahead and lower that crane. All right, these connection points—they're just right on top of each other. So let's go ahead and go magnet with three. Uh, it's attracting to it. Come on, hook in. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so we got the diesel hooked in. So question is, can we lift the diesel up? All right, here we go. Winch up. Ooh, oh, 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 oh! There it goes. There it goes, it's doing it! That is in You know, I thought the rocket was insane, which it is from the last episode, but this is also just crazy. Yeah, it lifts it, so we can do that. We can go swing it around here. Dude! We just used a crane in Stormworks, and not just your normal crane that you see like on a ship where it's a connector and it just pulls in. Like, this is a legit awesome crane wow uh, the only thing it's really missing i kind of wish there was like cockpit controls up at the top like say you can ride up to the top with it uh, that would be awesome but still this is a magnificent genius creation here really really digging that that's 
that's just something. Uh, you don't see that too often. All right, we're gonna test out one more thing here. Let's go ahead, we're gonna extend this or raise the tower as far as it will go. And then we are just gonna drop this thing. Oh, look at the stress that the tower is under. It's starting to bend forward. All right, here we go, we're still extending. This has got a couple more uh, lengths to go, I think. There we go. Oh, the tower. It's it's trying. It's still moving. It's slowed down a bit. Oh, that's insane. All right, come on. You can do it, tower. I think there's one more length inside of this. So as soon as this one clicks to the top here. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. You got this, tower. You got this. Oh, wow. I, I can't believe it actually did that. It actually... Oh! Oh, you can hear, like, the wind. I think the wind's catching it a bit. Oh, let's keep spinning it. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, we're gonna have a disaster here. Oh, the tower crane is... Oh, it's tipping! Oh, we shouldn't have done that. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, I'm pretty sure the tower crane is not supposed to bend like that. Hey, you can get a look at the, uh, under it. Wow! There's a lot going on under there. Hold on, let's, uh... Oh, we're stuck in the tower crane. Oh, we can crawl out of this. Oh, wow. That's a... Oh, yep, we did it. We Komodoed it. <laughs> it's about what happens every time I get a complex creation, I find a way to screw it up. And, uh, I believe we just did it. We did it, folks. So uh, we don't need to do anything else. Now, one more thing that I read that this has, and we could have used this, and it might would have helped with the arm kind of slumping, there's a actual, I figured out this was a, a actual connection. It's like a cable support system. So what you do is you unwinch this and it connects into one of these arms. So you got an extra bit of support there. So you'll have these cables that actually stretch out and help support the arm under heavier loads. Uh, that's actually a, a nice little feature. And I, I just read it. It's almost like it's got a change log on it saying, hey, I updated this on it. So uh, that's pretty awesome though. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks Creations. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. A little bit different. Uh, we didn't really stick in the water like we normally do. Uh, we actually got to, you know, really try to do a couple different things. Amphibious craft, a crane, I mean, of all things. I thought last episode was crazy with going to space, but, I mean, this crane is, uh... It's mental. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. If you have any suggestions for future Stormworks, let me know down in the comments below. And I guess we will see you guys next time in Stormworks. Uh, we'll probably stick to the rescuing next time. Obviously, we're not a crane operator. <laughs>